Alright, now let's talk about forms and reports. Now remember the basis of everything in a database is what's in the table. That's where the information is. Once you have things in your tables, then you can make queries. And from the last video, um, if you haven't watched the query video yet, you can watch it. Sorry, it's a bit long. Um, but it, I saved one of the queries. So to save the query, when I'm in the query, I just close out and it asks me if I want to save, and I said yes. And I, pardon me, I just left it as query one. All right. So now I'm going to make a couple of different forms. So forms are really just the tables in a different format. So when I open a table, it's showing it here in data sheet view, and it kind of looks like an Excel spreadsheet. But if you've uh, you know ever gone shopping online or something like that, and you fill out a form online with your name and address and what you want to buy and blah, 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 that's just a database form. And whatever you put in that form goes back and fills in the customer table. So let's look about creating a form. There's a couple of different forms, and we're just going to make a quick one right here. I'm just going to hit the word form. Bam! I have a form. All right? Here we go. Here's the customer. And here is, because those tables I created referential integrity, it automatically gave me the information in that other table that relates to this customer. Now if I didn't have that, um, it wouldn't be there. And let me just get rid of that for a minute. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go get rid of that to show you the difference. Okay, so I got rid of the relationship in my database tools in my relationship window. I got rid of that relationship and I'm going to go back to form from the customer and I'm going to hit form. Oh, and it just knew it was there anyway. It's not going to give me a choice. Okay, well I'm not going to worry about it. <clears throat> so, and in fact this is a good thing. It's a nice thing. If I don't want it, there's ways to get rid of it. Okay, and this, the, in reality this is a, called a subform. And I could probably just click on it and delete it. Sure enough, there you go. So here's a form. One click, right? Create form, I've got a form. And now it's showing me my records one customer at a time. Here's number two, here's number three, and I could fill out this form. Let me go to a new one. I could type a new customer number and go tab down. So the, I can't really type in here yet, because look, if I try to type, it's not really letting me type because I'm not in the view to, I'm not in form view. I'm in this new view that um, started with Access 2007 and it's called Layout View. And the reason they did it is they were trying to make Access more uh, user friendly. So they made this view where it's easy to kind of manipulate the, the um, boxes in here and all of the information. And let me click down here and I can stretch all of these out. So I, I, I have more ability to um, change this information. And But to be able to type into this view, I have to go into form view. Ah, oh, now my cursor's blinking, right? And I can start uh, typing names in here and doing all of this kind of stuff. Okay. Now, when I do this, I've got the pencil, it's writing, clink, 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 writing, and it says 11 of 11. So when I get out of here, will it really be sitting in the customer table? Hmm, I don't know, let's look. Sure enough, yes, customer 99, Wilkins, gobbledygook, gobbledygook, okay? So I could go to this form go to number 11, customer 11, and delete it here, or I could go back to the table, oh, here it is, and delete it here. It doesn't matter where I want to delete it. I'll leave it for now, but you can see the table and the customer are linked, okay? It's the same with the query. Now I said um, uh, this query before, there was no customer 99, I just added it this second, but this query now shows it because 
this form and this query are not real objects. They are shells. And what happens is when you open this query or when you open this form, it goes to the table, finds the information to populate this shell. And the information from the table is this is customer 9 and this is customer 10 or 7. I'm sorry, I'm going backwards. Okay? So this is customer 11, 99. All right. So I think I will um, delete this record. I'll just do it here. Yes, I'm about to delete one record. Okay, so now I'm back to 10 customers. Okay. Now it doesn't show my form over here yet because I haven't closed this. I'm going to close the customer table. And when I close it, it says, do you want to save the changes to the design? Yes, I do. And I'm just going to, I'm going to add an S to it and call it customers. Okay. So it's slightly different from the table. So you can see the icons are different. The query has two little uh, sheets and the table has a spreadsheet looking and the form looks more like a form. Okay. But what if I want to see a form and a data sheet view at the same time? I can get what's called a split form or I can make a split form. So I'm going to select groomer this time. I'm going to select the groomer and make a split form on the groomer. So because I had the groomer selected, it automatically gave me this. And you can see um, I'm in that same layout view and I can manipulate this information, right? Um, but I also have this spreadsheet down here so I can start adding information in here. 111, I don't know, last name, first name, etc. And will this show up in my groomer table? Of course it will. We just learned that. Okay. But I can also delete it from here. Uh, I'll try right clicking this time. Yeah, and I get delete record. Okay. So there's lots of different ways to do things in a Microsoft product. All right. So now I'm going to save this. And I think I'll call it groomer split form. So I, I see the difference between them. So now I have two forms. I have three tables, one query, two forms, and now I want to report. So forms are for on-screen viewing. I wouldn't print out a form because I wouldn't want a piece of paper with just this one piece of information there. And in fact, if I tried to print it, I would probably get um, two or three, yes, two or three forms on one page. But that's not very pretty. And it's really wasteful on paper. So I'm going to close this. So what I want to do is I want to make a report. So again, I'm going to choose the customer table first, and then I'm going to create a report. And I can do the same thing like I did it with forms, just click this button and I have a report. Okay, But it's kind of ugly and messy, and reports are for printed documents. And I don't want to have to go along and mess around and fix all this stuff. I want it to do it for me. So usually with forms, I run through, I mean, I'm sorry, usually with reports, I run through the wizard. So let me quickly do this. What fields do I want in my report? I want the customer number, then I want first name, then I want last name. I want their phone number, their pet, and their balance. Okay. Um, I'm not going to worry about the pet name. Oh no, I don't I do want the pet name. I want the pet name. Yes, and the balance. Okay. Because this, this pet value is just what kind of pet is it? Dog, dog, cat, cat, rabbit, rabbit, something like that. So this is the pet's name. Uh, now remember, uh, we have customers that don't have pets listed yet in the pet table, so it'll be a little bit wonky. Alright, I'm gonna say next. And basically I'm just gonna say next, 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 next. I don't need it in any certain order. I just want to leave this, but I want to make sure that this is checked. Adjusts the field width so that all fields fit on the one page. This is what I want. I don't want to have to do it myself. I want the computer to do it for me. 
and I want to preview it. And what am I going to call it? Customers, uh, uh, I'm going to call it balance due. Balance due by customer. Customers. Okay. And I'll say finish. And it's going to put it in uh, print preview for me. Finish. And here we go. It fit it all on one page. Here it is. Okay. Page one of one. Yay. Okay. It's really that simple. And then I can print it. I can change the margins. I can change the size. I can change it to landscape. Right? Because I have space there to change it to landscape. Okay. Um, I can just do whatever I want. And then when I close, close print preview, it actually puts me into design view, which is, oh my goodness, we don't want to see this. And let's go to our views. And either to layout view or a print preview. Let's report view. Oh, and this is just showing the report. Okay. So if I wanted to fix these a little bit, these columns a little bit, I surely could do that. I could go into layout view and make some changes here. Oh, it's not really going down because of that. I have to make sure that these go down with it. Well, it's not doing that either. So this can get kind of tedious. Let me go like this and then move these down. So there you could spend a lot of time on this stuff. And in fact, I do want this to print on one page. So I am, uh, why aren't these moving over? So yes, let me. Bring them back here, and now show this. Uh, let's see if I can get them all to move over. There we go. Page one of one. I'm going to shrink this down, so you can see how much uh, time you can spend on something like this. But it should actually be all right when I go to print preview, because I said I wanted it on one page. So by moving it, I actually kind of messed with this background design. We're not going to worry about that. That's another class. There's a lot of technical stuff you could get with the reports. And the thing is, is that this is a report you might do every month. So you might spend an hour making it look pretty, but then you never change it again because every month it's going to change. And when you open it, I'm going to close it. Yes, I'm going to save the changes to the design. If I change something in here and add another customer, ZZ99, whoops. Nine nine. Uh, I'll add myself as ZZ nine nine. Blah 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 blah. Um, I'll say a dog. Let's choose uh, and groomer um, two or three. Something like this. Whoops. All right. Close it. When I open this, I should have. Sure enough, there is ZZ nine nine. So I want to spend the time to make this look good. I want to spend the time to make this look good because I only have to do that once and then every time I open it, it will look the way I want it to look. I never have to do it twice. All right, if you have any questions, please ask your instructor. Bye.